The media sees itself as a bulldog role sometimes, you know, like that's that's the representation in media and movies and we're supposed to be tough and all this. And what my point is, is that this is not the place to be tough. It's just not. You're not going to get a story different, fundamentally different from anybody else. Just not. What you can do is tell the story better than everybody else. What you can do is build trust during the event. What you can do is represent the feelings of the community in a way that's meaningful so that other people can relate to. But you, and that, that's, I think the big thing is that I think some media members don't see their actions as bad, as, as harmful. That's the first part. The second part is that there is, just the same way that there's like the, the blue line for police, there, there's the, the same aspect, it exists in journalism. We chase a story, something happens, and oftentimes we don't want to acknowledge that we've made a mistake because we view making a mistake as somehow fundamental to undermining our trust. And I think actually our trust is built by being transparent and acknowledging, hey, you know what, we, me we messed up Roseburg. We should do something about that. We should look at what we've done. We often demand truth of the people we cover, but we have a hard time looking at it in ourselves. One of the, one of the things as journalists we often do is we'll tell ourselves we're covering a community in an event like this. We're telling the stories of the community. Uh, we make it sound a lot more noble than it necessarily is. I'm not saying what we don't do doesn't have purpose and value, but we shouldn't kid ourselves either than we were telling the story of a horrible tragedy and people who were grieving. Like ultimately, that's what the story was. Anybody who was a hero was it was a hero result of the tragedy. Any um, stories that make us feel better um, are a result of people grieving. I I really have a hard time with it personally. This idea that and then that was the other thing I saw with a lot of the coverage was there was this idea that everything had to somehow end well that there was some greater meaning, and I feel like that's you know we might not show our our, our biases um, and in necessarily political terms, but there's definitely a bias to that kind of feel-good ending. There's no feel-good ending here. It sucks, it's shitty. But the truth is, is we spend a lot of time as journalists like patting ourselves on the back and like feeling all great about it and oh, we did a great job cover. And we had no idea about the, the people or, or the, the complexities of situations or, or even just acknowledge not everything turns out well. So, I don't really buy that, that we're covering a community. I think we're covering a tragedy. And if we are covering a community, then I would ask, well, are the people still there? Are people still going back? Were they covering it before? Sadly, the answer is no a lot of times. And even with me, the answer is no for most of it. So that's okay, but just don't kid ourselves. Let's be honest.